The Kinesis Women's Lacrosse program has made their 14th consecutive tournament appearance, highlighting a very hectic week for the Griffs. I'm Griffin Delapena reporting for GoGriffs.com, and this is this week's edition of Around Kinesis Athletics presented by Niagara Scenic Tours. After winning two of three against Quinnipiac, the Griffs baseball team sits tied for first with Fairfield with a 9-3 conference record. Matt Duffy continues to do Matt Duffy things, earning his fourth straight victory on the mound, striking out 11 Bobcats in the process. In his first action back from injury, Dylan Vincent had a home run, triple, and two doubles, while Mike DiStefano had a four-hit performance on Sunday. They'll have their final non-conference games on Tuesday against St. Bonaventure before more games at the Dembski against St. Peter's. The women's lacrosse team has officially punched their ticket to the postseason as the number five seed after a 10-9 defeat of the Marist Red Foxes and a 10-8 loss against top seed at Fairfield. Skylar McArthur scored her 100th goal of her career in the first quarter against the Stags, giving her six total on the week. They'll now play in the first round the number four seed Quinnipiac Bobcats in an effort to avenge their regular season overtime loss that was less than two weeks ago. Sophomore Ryan Enholm earned all MAC honors for his fifth place finish at the 2023 MAC Golf Championships down in Florida. At home shot back-to-back -back 71s on the last two days of the tournament to lead Canisius as the Griffs tied for seventh overall with Manhattan with a total score of 902 over the three-day tournament. Sitting in sole possession of first place with a 12-2 MAC record, the Canisius softball team went 4-0 this weekend, defeating St. Peter's and Manhattan. Pitcher Megan Geis collected her 11th win in the circle and had a two-run bomb against the Peacocks, and freshman Riley Alfaro had her first collegiate home run. On Sunday, the Griffs defeated the Jaspers 3-0 and 5-3 to up their win streak to 8. This upcoming week, they will stay on the road, but it will be close by as they will play the Niagara Purple Eagles on Mont Eagle Ridge. After competing in Colgate on Saturday, the rowing team will have their lone home regatta of the spring on Sunday as they will host Robert Morris for the Black Rock Cup. There will be two other programs also present on Sunday as Dewville as well as Mercyhurst come to town. In the final game of the regular season, the Canisius men's lacrosse team lost 15-8 on the road against Sacred Heart. The game was tied up at two apiece before the Pioneers went on a 9-1 run with 4.35 left in the first half. Redshirt sophomore Colin Kelly netted his 40th and 41st goal of the season, becoming just the fifth Canisius player in program history to do so, and his 41 goals make him tied for 10th in the country. Make sure to come out to the Dembski as there will be a total of five games this week for your defending MAC baseball champions. Signing off for this episode of Around Kinesis Athletics, I'm Griffin Della Pena, and as always, go Griffs.